In this video, we are going to discuss amplitude modulation. So, using this respective diagrams, we will be explaining how this amplitude modulation is taking place. So, this is our sinusoidal modulating wave and this is our analog data. So, this particular signal has been represented as by the function m of t because it is a modulating wave. You can find this one that along the x axis we have plotted the respective time along the y axis we have plotted the amplitude. So, looking at this respective signal you can easily feel that this signal is having a very low frequency. So, if I pass this one then obviously the, the range up to which it can go it can travel will be of obviously few meters only because in that case the signal will die down. So, what will happen? We shall make this particular signal as a profile of a very high frequency signal. So, what will be the respective expression for it? So, here we are having m of t, you can find this one and if I perform 1 plus m of t, then this particular, this particular line will have a shift of 1 unit. So, we will have a shift of 1 unit, you can find this one. So, ultimately what will happen? This 1 plus m of t will be the signal like this. Now, this 1 plus m of t has become the amplitude of another signal where the carrier frequency is f t f c and which is a very high frequency. So, what will happen? You can find that this carrier frequency will get enveloped in between this 1 plus m of t. So, now the thing is that let us suppose just consider this one the maximum amplitude of this uh, m of t that is that this max maximum amplitude say let it be say 0.6 then what will happen? So, here it is 0.6 and here it is 1. So, what is the frequency? What is the amplitude there? 1.6. So, if you go for this 1.6 with this, then this particular this particular amplitude will become high on the both ends, not only only at the in the in the in the plus side, but also in the minus side. But here you see if it is minus 0.6 in that case here. So, now it will become 1 plus minus 0.6, so it will become 0.4, then what will happen? This particular signal's amplitude will get reduced. So, that is why this sort of waveform we are going to get as the analog signal. So, what is this? This is our A mean, this is our A mean and this one A max and this one 1 and here we have plotted T and in this way the resulting amplitude modulated signal will be obtained. So, this is our modulating wave and this is our modulated wave. So, in this way you have discussed that how this amplitude modulation will take place. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.